New at 11, an Indianapolis man turns to RTV6 for help after a water main blew in front of his home, leaving behind this mess of a problem. He's been trying to figure out who is responsible for repairs for weeks. And tonight, RTV6's Cameron Riddle shows you why the problem is making it difficult for his family to even go outside. Walking down your driveway is supposed to be simple and safe. But at Andy Soul's Indianapolis home, that process is anything but. After a water main blew in front of his house almost a month ago, leaving the front of his property looking like this. Now he just wants the organizations responsible to come clean it up. Well, it's a lot worse than this. Mother Nature's dried things up a lot. You couldn't even... Uh... You can't even walk on this. Nearly four weeks after water started rising from the water main under Andy Soul's driveway, the damage it left behind is an everyday headache for the Soul family, including his wife, Lisa, who right now can't even get to the mailbox. Which is a problem. Lisa's in a chair. She needs assistance to get around and get in her van and get out. She was having to come through the grass to get to her van. Soul says when the water main blew on July 20th, he immediately called Citizens Energy Group. After the water spewed from the ground and flowed down the street for roughly three hours, a crew was finally able to shut the water off. As dirt-filled water was unearthed, Soul, an engineer of 20 years, asked citizens to not only repave his driveway, but fix the recently paved street that is now cracked and replace the dirt that was washed away underground. I personally wanted to go over the driveway repair with him to make sure things were understood. Um, I knew that a large amount of soil had been washed out underneath the slab. I knew they didn't backfill it properly. I knew the street had raised up, and I wanted to make sure all that stuff was in his report so it would be taken care of. Soul says citizens patched the broken water main with gravel and would only agree to repair the driveway. Soul says he was told to take his other concerns to the city. But finding who is responsible for the mess in front of his yard has been a bad game of runaround. The representative at the action line basically said to me, the street issue is DPW's issue. And DPW saying it's citizens' issue. Citizens tell me it's not their issue. Nobody will tell me when the street's going to be fixed, how the street's going to be fixed. Nobody's going to give me a schedule on my drive. And I just didn't, I don't know who to turn to anymore. After weeks of frustration, Soul turned to RTV6, hoping the responsible party would properly repair the water main, driveway, and street so that Deer Run Drive doesn't turn into Deer Run River. I keep telling everybody, I just want my, I just want my driveway back. I want my, I want my wife to be safe. I want my road fixed, you know. It's not that difficult. Just give it back to me the way it was. Working for you in Indianapolis, Cameron Riddle, RTV6. And tonight we have taken Soul's concerns to Citizens Energy Group, who says they are now investigating and may be able to tell us more early next week. RTV6 is also checking with DPW and the Indiana Regulatory Commission to see who is responsible for those repairs. We'll bring you more next week as we dig more into this problem.